in on the campus at large, but uh, specifically concentrated in the college system, is a human community. And uh, when you're dealing with a human community, you're talking about ways of organizing that community for everybody's mutual benefit. You're talking about the kinds of interaction uh, between individuals and larger groups of people that uh, go on in that community. And uh, the college system is organized specifically to foster those kinds of experiences and uh, those kinds of, uh, of, of ways of learning uh, to deal with other human beings. And uh, I like to emphasize that uh, that kind of learning and that kind of experience can be as valuable to somebody's future life as to whatever information, whatever knowledge, whatever skills, uh, whatever methodologies one picks up as part of uh, the undergraduate uh, education. One can, uh, for example, uh, be a very successful pre-med in uh, doing very well in biology and chemistry and biochemistry and, uh, and so forth. And one can go to medical school and learn all of the techniques of medicine without ever learning how to deal with a human being uh, as a, a, a patient, as a human being, uh, or to deal with another group of doctors in an organization in a hospital as uh, part of a human organization. So there's much more that is useful in one's future life and uh, uh, to one's career than simply what one learns in the classroom. And this is where I think the college system is extremely valuable. Okay, and uh, one thing I might point out is that interpersonal relationships is not one of the things you're going to find in your curriculum. It's not a required course, and no one's going to force you to do it. And as a result, you're going to meet people through Rice, and even in later life, actually, who don't ever really learn to deal with other people successfully. And this is a good place to do it, because if you make a mistake, or if you're not quite the best in interpersonal relationships, there's a lot of people around who understand, and they're there to help, and they want to help you. A university is a good place to sort of try out how you're going to react to other people. If, if a person doesn't learn how to work cooperatively with other people towards uh, mutually uh, uh, beneficial goals, that person is really, in, in many respects, I think, condemned eventually to being a cog in some kind of machine. That is, that person may have a skill, maybe even a very valuable skill, but that uh, person will only be able to, to function in uh, whatever kind of institution, corporation, society uh, uh, he's, in, he's involved with in terms of that skill, where that skill fits into the, the cog of, of the machinery. And uh, hmm. I think a, a person who is successful, learns how to be successful with interpersonal and communal types of relationships, uh, therefore has the ability to uh, expand the horizons, his potentiality, and uh, future possibilities beyond simply fulfilling a specific function for which he has, he has picked up in school uh, specific skills. I think uh, it will help him in his studies, too. You can't study 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we want learning to be fun, and it can't be fun if you do it all the time. And everything has its seasonal peaks and valleys, and there are some times when uh, learning uh, is particularly intense. Uh, it's a lonely occupation uh, between you and your uh, books. Uh, uh, you, you can't learn uh, uh, too much from someone else. You have to learn it for yourself, and you can't do that continuously. And to have these other kinds of interaction is very important to enhancing the learning process, too, I believe, That's particularly right. the experience you have in the college. No, or even more, I think one needs to recognize that the learning process is much broader than what goes on in the classroom. And picking up on what both of you have been saying, I think it's absolutely clear that these four years are very special and precious and not to be repeated period in people's lives. It's an opportunity to make the transition from the childhood to adulthood, to, from, from a sense of passive absorption of the scene to an active role in shaping one's life, in clarifying one's values, and being understanding of, of what this, the current, uh, the, the final decades of the 20th century represent in terms of human challenge. And, and uh, much of that has got to occur in these four years, or they're not likely, it's not likely to, to, the opportunity for that kind of exploration and openness of trying on new roles 
looking at old values and asking, are these the best values for the future and for myself and my life? It has to happen in these four years or it's not likely to happen again. And this is the one time when they're going to be closely associated with people with similar intellectual abilities and interests, uh, which can be compared with uh, before in high school, nor perhaps even afterwards, because it's interesting. You find that people, the friends you make in college are sometimes some of the longest lasting friends that you have, and uh, there's a good reason for that. Oh, for sure, and the opportunity is just fantastic here. And again, and I, I think when you talk to alumni, they often are, when they ask, you know, what do I regret about the way I spent these four years? Many of them will say that in some ways they feel that they spent too much time in a single-minded focus on the acquisition of pre-professional skills, and perhaps insufficient time in exploring new areas of, of academics and above all of non-academic areas as well. And, and, and to recognize that the best place to learn the specific skills that you need for the job are on the job. And what Rice represents in its great strength, I think, is, is that it can provide a far more of a broadening experience before the, the inevitable narrowing and focusing of skills that comes with graduate school or with, or with the professional life. And in that way, in part, an enthusiasm for intellectual activity, which will then carry on and Forever. continue the learning process throughout after their college years, because they can't learn that really a great deal in four years compared with what they can learn if they continue 